In our last video, we mentioned that having position is a big informational advantage in poker. However, without an example, the benefits of position can be difficult to understand. So let's work through a hypothetical hand twice. Once when we have position, and once when we don't. Hopefully you'll notice that position not only makes our decisions easier, but it also helps us make more money from our winning hands and lose less money from our losing hands. In our example, we'll get dealt pocket kings, the second best starting hand in Texas Hold'em. And the flop is even better. It comes king of clubs, jack of clubs, eight of spades. We have two opponents, one in early position and one in the hijack, and they both are very involved in the hand. Perhaps they have the club draw or a straight draw or middle or bottom set. We don't know exactly what they have, but they both hang in there to see the turn. And the turn's a blank, so we're still confident we have the best hand, the pot's even bigger, and everybody stays in for the river. Sadly, however, the river is probably the worst card in the deck, the ten of clubs. It completes both the club draw and the straight draws that were on the board. So now we're a little worried. What do our opponents do? Our first villain leads with a bet. The size of the pot. And this alone is pretty bad news. Unless he's a bad player, he's probably only doing this with a straight or a flush possibly with a set of jacks, a set of aces, or pocket aces. Sorry, a set of eights or pocket aces. What happens next, though, makes our decision very easy. The second opponent raises all in. So now we're certain that one of our two villains has a better hand than us. And what otherwise, in a different situation, would be a very strong hand, we happily fold. Because of our position, our decision was easy, and we preserved our entire stack. What happens, though, if we have the same hand, and we're out of position? Let's say every player rotates one seed around the table. So we're now in early position, and our two villains are in the hijack seat and seated on the button. The board gets dealt the same, and we have the same pocket kings. Our decision here is much more difficult. We're tempted to extract value from worse hands, like a set of jacks or a set of eights, and we want a value bet. But what happens when we do that? If we're actually facing a better hand, we're going to get raised, and we'll have to fold. So we'll have lost whatever the size of this bet is possibly the entire pot on the river. So, maybe we elect a more conservative approach. We say, let's check and see what our opponents do. Well, unfortunately, if we actually have the better hand than them, if they have something like a set of eights, they're going to check behind and we'll have lost some value. We'll have missed the opportunity to get an extra bet out of them. If they have a better hand they're going to bet. And we might be tempted to call. And you say, well, it's better to check call because it still costs us one bet. But at least we get to see the showdown. Unfortunately, when, when we check and they bet, they almost always have us beat. So again, we're losing an additional river bet. Well, let's go ultra conservative. Let's check, hoping they check behind. And if we have any resistance, we'll simply fold. Unfortunately, this will just leave us with a big question mark, wondering if we just made a mistake by folding the best hand. So without position, we're either left guessing as to whether we made the right move, or we lose an additional big river bet to a better hand. When we had position with the same pocket kings, we confidently folded and saved our whole stack. This hand demonstrated that position helps minimize our losses when we have a losing hand. In the next video, you'll show, we'll show you the reverse, how position helps us maximize our profit 
when we're dealt the winning hand.